You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. According to my first guest, he says no one should be wearing a loose fitting, old fashioned denture. With us, we have an expert on the topic. He's with Affordable Dentures and Dental Implants, Dr. Daniel Fenton. Dr. Fenton, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Okay, good. I know you brought a lot of photos, so we'll get to as many of those uh, as, as we can and have time for. But for people that don't know affordable dentures and dental implants, who's the typical patient that you see? So our current base can be broken down into three pretty much branches of patients. The first is those who are in dentures now, those who wear dentures, they're in the system, they either need it repaired or they want an upgrade, they need a new set. The second type of patient are those who have been to the dentist time and time again, or may have not been to the dentist, but their teeth are in very poor condition. They're bleeding, the gums are unhealthy, the teeth are loose, the teeth are broken, the root canals are failing, their fillings are failing, everything is cracked. So those are the patients that are headed towards dentures but aren't really there yet in terms of okay. knowing what their options may be. All right. And the third group of patients is those that want their dentures stabilized. They're sick of it moving around, it's swimming around in their mouth, and they just want to change their life. Okay, now with affordable dentures, it's not just, and dental implants, it's not just a slogan. I mean, you guys literally are less than just about everyone. Correct. Is that right? That's absolutely right. And it's something that allows us to provide patient care to those who would have never, would have had access to it before. And it's, it's incredibly gratifying when you think about doing these procedures to patients who, if they didn't see our ad or if they didn't talk to a family friend who had been here before, they would have never been able to get this treatment because we are literally up to two thirds to half the cost of, of, of some of our competitors out there. And okay. to me, it's really important to stress the fact that we're using high quality materials. We've got some strategic partners in the, in the industry that are very, very reputable as far as BioHorizons, 3Shape, Ivoclar, Carbon, uh, implant pathway and Strom and Neodent. And it's very important to understand that we're not shipping these cases out overseas or nothing that we're but using. But these are the biggest implant companies. In the world. Out there. In okay. the world with great reputations. So the way that we're able to be affordable to our patients is that we can pass the discount on to them because of our buying power. You have like 350 plus locations. Exactly. Is that right? Exactly. So okay. just like Costco, because we buy in bulk, we're able to sell things for less and be more cost effective compared to our competitors. And it's a win-win situation for, for everyone that's involved. And so when you say things like we reimagined dentures, what does that mean? So the way we make and fabricate the dentures is on site. The process alone is incredibly different from those that, that do the same thing we do because we have full-time lab technicians in site in-house, everything under one roof. So you roof. have like printers that print the teeth or make the teeth right there Correct. In, in, in the office. Correct. So we're using state-of-the-art high technology that prints the dentures in the office, translates into a denture that's incredibly intimate, incredibly accurate, incredibly aesthetic, uh, and it's all done in one place. Versus so they look the, better and fit better, correct. you say. Exactly. So instead of going to a dental office and having them take impressions, send it out to a lab, sending it back to try it in, send it back out to the lab to have them finish and polish it and, and, and eventually get it back, which is usually a three to four visit process that can take over, you know, four to six weeks. We have patients who come in in the morning, they have their records taken, consultation, and they're leaving that afternoon with a new smile in less than four or five hours. Is that right? Now, the, the industry in dentistry, the hottest newest trend is dental implants. So I guess affordable dentures, and we talked on the phone, that it was a natural progression to start stabilizing these dentures with implants. How'd that happen? So dentures don't stay in the mouth. And the reason why is because our bodies are constantly changing. Bone is melting away, gum tissue is getting loose and flabby. So over time, the denture that used to fit well doesn't anymore. So technology in our recent era has been able to stabilize these dentures with the use of titanium dental implants in order for those dentures to be non-moving. Okay, so at, a, at, at your centers, so you offer a snap-in, you, you offer a, like I'm calling it a cosmetic denture, but you have I guess like three different or four different tiers of dentures, but then you offer the option of locking them in, supported by dental implants, snap-in, snap-out, or a fixed set of teeth that don't come out. All of that is offered at your center. Correct. 
So we leave no patient behind. It's not a one size fits all. There's freedom for the patients to choose which denture is appropriate for them based on their budget, based okay. on time, their schedule. So we, uh, we have four different tiers of dentures. The highest what are tier, they? Our, our economy denture is our, is our entry level denture. Our custom denture is one up from that, premium denture. Then we've got our ultimate fit denture. Then we've got our, our new signature digital denture, which is using uh, uh, scan technology and used for our implants because the material used is incredibly strong, incredibly durable, and, and highly aesthetic. Do you think that's a future of your industry that whether it's 10 years or 50 years, that dentures of the future will all be attached to dental implants possibly? I, I sincerely believe that. I think that- and you're doing it now. We're doing it now, we're doing it now, and it's got a direct correlation with the quality of, of people's lives. Uh, you see nowadays Amazon, right? People want their right away, we're even fast, even, yeah. gro even groceries, right? They don't even go to the store anymore, it's there in a second. Uh, the new cell phones, they've got the cameras in them, they've got 3G, 4G networks, so people want things right now, but they also want high quality materials and we're able to check all those boxes. So no more traditional dentures? Traditional dentures are, are, are a thing of the past. Okay, good. Now in Florida, are there a lot of people wearing dentures? There are a tremendous amount of people wearing dentures in Florida. Tens of thousands, uh, hundreds of thousands. You know, we're, we're, we're near Disney World, right? So okay. picture Disney World, maximum capacity is 55,000 people. You're on a crowded day at Disney World, twice that many, right? So two times the maximum right? capacity of Disney World is gonna put you over 100,000 people. Now picture in your mind how many denture wearers that really is. Whether it be a partial denture, whether it be a complete denture, they're missing a tooth and they need the service to replace that missing tooth. So if implant supported dentures are so good, why aren't all these denture wearers, and if there's so many of them, why aren't they all coming in to get their teeth locked in, supported by dental implants? That's, What's your take? That's a great question. and. You know, the, the first thing is these patients aren't going to the dentist anymore. Why? Because they have no teeth. So they've simply fallen out of the system. So if you're wearing a dentist, you don't go to the dentist. Well, they, they don't know what their options are because they're not there. Okay, good. You know, the, the second reason is people think that they may be too old. They may be too old. They don't have enough bone. How That's old can you be to do this, to get an implant supported denture? So, so the youngest patient we've personally treated in the practice has, has been in their early 20s. Okay. And my, my oldest patient, who I actually saw last week, was 98 years old. Why would a 98 year old want to do this? Because he wanted to eat and chew. Okay, he wanted to enjoy enough. the remainder of his life, whether it be one more year, five more years, 10 more years, why not live it to the best of your ability? 70 and 80 is young in our practice. That's, that's who we see most. And they could do this with uh, implant. Now you brought photos, what are we looking at over there? I did, I did bring some photos. Um, first photo we've got is a, is a patient named Patricia. And she actually drives four hours to our office. Um, just the, the, the sweetest woman. Her issue was that she, she hated the way that her teeth looked, but moreover, she hated the way that they felt. They, okay. were, they, were, they were moving. She was waking up in the middle of the night in pain. She wanted to look better for her husband. Okay. So they came She in. tells you this on the consult. Exactly, exactly. Okay. They, 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 they open up about their lives, which is another great perk of, about the job, you know, okay. you, you form connections with these patients. There's human bodies connected to these teeth, right? Okay. It's not okay. just the teeth that we're treating; it's 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 a person. And um, we've we've grown over the over the the last several months into 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 a really nice friendship. So we were not able to save those teeth in their current state, nor did she have the financial capability to pump more money into a bad situation, okay. right? So we were able to take out all her teeth and give her a fixed set of teeth that did not move around. Supported by dental implants. Supported by dental implants. And no, that's her No more right adhesive, there? no more denture rubbing on her gums, no more sore spots. It was, it was incredible. Let's take a look. Very nice. Right, so if you look at the way that those teeth were created, the, the, the teeth in the middle there, a little longer to promote young age, it's all custom made. So, you know, she's got her, her eye teeth or her canines with a little point and um, it's, it, it fits the, the smile line, which is that, that upper lip line that's consistent. And you can see in her eyes how, how happy she is. That's, that's where you really are able to, to see the satisfaction in patients is through their eyes. And she was a completely different person after we were done And with these her. are made in the other room? These are made 10 feet away. Okay, now we have to mention, so the way dental implants are typically done uh, is you go to one doctor that does a surgery, another doctor that puts the teeth on top and then you send it out to a lab. At your centers, you do it all right there. 
Correct. So aside from convenience, what's the big benefit? The, the, the largest benefit is the collaboration okay. between the laboratory technicians and the doctors and, and the assistants for that matter. So by able to triangulate that communication and for everyone to be on the same page results in a much more efficient process. And that process then translates into a perfect denture. And because we do it all in one facility, we're able to pass that discount onto the patient for efficiency's sake. Because if they compare, you're gonna be less. We're gonna That's be, what you told me on the phone. It, it's, it's hard to believe sometimes how much it's less. Let me show you this next patient. All right. So this is Keith. Keith is in his early 30s. Oh my goodness. Went through some very troubling times. He was bullied in high school. He low self-esteem. His confidence was in the gutter. And what we were able to do for him was incredibly transformational. That's gotta be unusual to look like that. No, not at all, Keep that bad. Not at all. It's, really? unu it's unusual to you because you don't see them smile. These patients don't even see themselves smile in the mirror because they've trained themselves not to smile. That upper lip doesn't come up because they don't want to smile. Okay. They don't know what it's like to smile at that point in their life. So what were his options? Because you couldn't save those teeth. Correct, those teeth were, were so carious, meaning the cavities were so deep and the pain was so excruciating for him that he was at the point beyond repair. Okay. So rather than trying to fix them, we took out all his teeth. We gave him a implant supported smile because he's a young guy, right? Okay. So this is okay. the last person you want in a pair of dentures. He's got the whole rest of his life to use them for and, and to enjoy them with. So we were able to fixate those teeth onto sets of implants and He's, he's the happiest he's ever been, okay. ever. And look at the after. Very nice. So look at the after. He's a completely different person. He's smiling on day one. Usually okay. it takes a couple days for them to learn how to smile again. But he walked out with, of the office with, with such an aura, with such a, a, a level of confidence and, and, and self-esteem that it was just, it was, it was, Frankly, it was magical. It was magical to see that. So how soon can they eat? I mean, if everything works out, how soon can they eat? Technically, they can eat right away, but okay. they are gonna be restricted to a softer, cooler diet. Eventually, over time, they get used to the dentures, the implants are fully integrated and healed, and they, they, they can go at it. I mean, we've got patients eating steak, pizza, tacos, things they haven't been able to enjoy in decades. Do you hear eating stories on a regular basis like the patients want to tell you? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, think about what makes people happy, right? We're a social society. Okay. Food is what brings us all together. What, what are some of our best memories, right? Sitting around the table with our family on okay. Thanksgiving, holidays, it's, it's, it's the common denominator of, you know, the, 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 the life, our life. We're gonna take a quick break. Uh, and when we come back, more about the process, like what people can expect uh, at your practice on day one. You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Avers. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants and getting an affordable denture if that's one of your options. We'll be right back. Well, basically, I had a lot of problems with my mouth. I was very embarrassed to go outside. Um, I came to Affordable Dentures and Dr. Fenton does miracles. I'll tell you right now, he absolutely changed my life. Um, I'm eating foods that I haven't ate in years and also uh, I'm not feeling any more insecurity. It's the most wonderful thing I've done. The implants are nothing compared to dentures. They are wonderful, 100%. You can eat. You can chew, you can smile, you can laugh. I've never, never done anything more rewarding in my life. I would do it again. I'm going to have the top ones done. I can't wait to get them done. Oh, this is something that I've needed done and wanted done for so long, and I kept putting it off and putting it off. Thank goodness somebody told me about this place because it's fantastic. I'm, what, two weeks post-op? I had extractions done, I had, I've got my temps in, everything is great, I'm so happy, so happy I finally took the plunge because it was a tiny little plunge and it's working out great. I was apprehensive, the work seemed extensive and I was concerned and when the teeth, the final teeth were put in, it's just a game changer, my life changed. I mean, they put them in, and the next day I was eating corn on the co-op. I would recommend this to anyone who's considering ventures. It's the only way to go. You're watching the Wellness Hour News that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. We're talking about affordable dentures and dental implant centers. With us, we have an expert on the topic. 
He is Florida's go-to implant dentist, Dr. Daniel Fenton. Dr. Fenton, welcome back to the program. Thank now you we should mention, me. we're talking a lot about implants, we're talking about affordable dentures as well, um, but you've had a lot of continuing education on this, and we've talked about this. In fact, you got an award for the most continuing education. I have. Where you are. I have. I'm, is there I'm, that much I'm to humbled this to, learn? to admit it. I'm, I'm, is there that much to this? I'm, I'm a big nerd at heart, and, and there, is, there is a lot to it. My dad is coming to have this procedure done in two weeks, and one of the things that I say to patients in Your the chair- Your dad has bad teeth. My, my dad has, has poor teeth. He'll probably, okay. he'll probably hate, hate, hate to <laughs> have this heard on, on, okay. on, on television, but he, um, he's got teeth that are, that are very wobbly. He's got periodontal disease, which is a fancy way of saying bone loss, and um, he's uncomfortable. He can't enjoy any, any foods. So with my dad's situation, he would traditionally end up with an old-fashioned denture. Uh, but the fact that we're able now to stabilize teeth with dental implants, he's a candidate for that. So what are you going to do for him, you think? We're going to give him brand new upper and lower teeth that are fixated to his mouth, that do not come in and out. And the supported reason why- Supported by dental implants. Supported by dental implants. And the, the reason why I tell this story is because when I'm chair side next to a patient, I, I truly try to explain to them that I'm only gonna treat them like I would my dad or my brother or my aunt or my sister okay. if they were in the chair. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So that, that's where that continuing education comes into play is I, I wanna make sure that you know I'm, I'm well versed in this topic and I only want to my goal is to be the best, right? So if good, I'm going to provide the best care, then I've got to have the best training. Okay, good. You have more photos. What are we looking at? Let me show you this next patient. All right. This is one of my favorite cases, one of my favorite patients. This is Raul. Okay. He is a Miami, Florida native. And like most people do, they want to be out in the sun. They want to be out in the ocean. He is a scuba diver. Okay. And the story with Raul was he didn't have any upper teeth and the lower teeth that he did have, he wasn't able to put the, the regulator, the snorkel in his mouth. So he lost the ability to do what he loved the most, which was be underwater. Okay. And by getting him a new set of teeth that didn't come in and out and restoring his smile and his function, he was then able to dive, right? And, and, and we were able to give him back, here's the after, that life, <laughs> he looked pretty happy there. Yeah, yeah, he was, he was incredibly happy. We were able to give him back a portion of his life that he thought he had lost by securing those bottom teeth down and eventually placing the, uh, well, the implants are already placed, but eventually he's gonna be able to secure these upper teeth as well. He was able to do what he loved again, which was snorkel and scuba dive. So this guy with a brand new set of teeth, upper and lower, supported by dental implants, he could snorkel, he could eat whatever he That's wants. That's exactly as well. right. He was in a pair of traditional dentures before on the top. And what happened was he lost them while he was snorkeling. So there, oh, there really? may be a okay. fish out there wearing his, his old dentures. <laughs> I, I don't know. But that problem will never happen for him again. You know, he's, he's got the teeth now that were as similar to what he was born with. And that's, uh, that's a very special thing. Now, with affordable dentures and dental implants, for people just tuning in, when you say you lowered the barrier, to get dental implants. What do you mean by that? So I've got to tell you, Randy, the, the most uh, incredible thing about the, the practice that I'm involved with is the ability to leave no patient behind. Meaning, give everyone a smile. Go ahead and smile, right? We, we stay true to that by offering this service at such a discounted fee because these patients would never have had the chance to do it. If it, if it weren't for a practice like ours or for the, the, the practices like ours that span the country, now over 350. You even offer financing, right? We offer financing. It does not all have to be tackled in one shot. They can space out the payments because that's real life. There's not that many people out here that can just pay for these, these procedures in one lump sum. Okay. But the other thing that's really important is a lot of patients come in and they think that they need an implant for every single tooth all right. and that it automatically just prices them out because they say, Doc, I can never afford that. My, my car doesn't even cost that much. But that's not, the, that, that, that's not really how it works. We don't need an implant to, to replace every single tooth. We can, we can secure a lower denture with only two implants, right? So the adhesive days are over for these people, like with just two implants. We will, They're locked in. Absolutely. We will, in our lifetime, see the point where a snap in denture, especially on the lower, is gonna be the standard of care. Okay, good, good for you. So we have more photos. More photos. So this is Aldo, that's his before. Wow. He, he had a uh, mouthful of previous dental work that was failing. And it was good dental work. He had had it for over 20 years. So kudos to, to the dentist who, who provided that service to him. But it, he was at the time where 
He wasn't going for cleanings every now and then like he should have, so on and so forth. He, his priorities were different, and he took care of his wife, and he took care of his sister, and he took care of his grandchildren. So he finally made the commitment to himself, and he said, Doc, it's, it's time. It's time for me okay. to do this. I want to do it for myself, but I also want to do it for my wife so she can see me in the morning and, and, and open her eyes when I'm laying next to her in the bed and, and, and see that smile that so she hasn't So did he have seen. no upper teeth there? Is that what's going He had going no on? upper teeth at all, and the lower teeth that he did have were, were, were just crowns. So what did you do for him? So we were able to give him a beautiful new set of teeth. Let's take a look. Oh, nice. Yeah, so those are implant-supported upper dentures, and he was, he was beside himself. <laughs> he, he, he looked in the mirror, and he didn't even think it was the same person. <laughs> so when they look at the mirror for the first time, they get tears sometimes? It's emotional. It's emotional, as it should be, because you're giving them back an element of life that they're not familiar with or that they haven't seen in, in decades. And uh, the quality of their life increases so much that it's just, it, it radiates. Now, you're a dentist. So, of course, you probably think that, like, the teeth are the most important thing. Well, truly, you know, dentists are not. People want to be around happy people, Okay, right? that's fair. So when people smile, that to me is what symbolizes happiness. When someone's going on a job interview and you've got equal candidates, right, on paper that are the same and, and there's someone that's smiling and full of confidence versus someone that's not and it's due to their teeth or their oral health, you're going to choose the, 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 the person who's, who's smiling, right? That's right. the person who you're going to sit next to on the bus. That's the person that you're going to want to, 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 to go out with uh, on a date. It's just... It's, it's the prettiest thing you can wear, right? Okay. No handbag, no ring, no watch can match what, what a smile can do for you. You know, we were talking about like Hollywood, like in the movies, if you want to make somebody look poor or unclean or dirty or whatever, in the movies, they always give you bad teeth. It's, it's like every time. Exactly. There's a, there's a stigma associated with bad teeth, right? Whether they're buck or they're separated um, or, you know, bad breath, so on and so forth. There's, there's, a, there's a negative connotation to people with, with bad teeth and that doesn't have to be anymore. So take a look at Jacqueline. All right. Right. Jacqueline was a patient of oh ours. Oh my goodness. So she's a flight attendant serving people every day, having interactions with her customers up and down the aisle, but she never smiled. She never smiled. That's what she told you. She never smiled. That's what she told me. So people would think that either she was upset with them or she didn't want to be there, but that truly wasn't the case. She wasn't able to even project how she was really feeling on the inside, which was decent. But now look at her after picture. She couldn't stop smiling. What'd you do for her? So her options were to take out the remaining teeth and have either a traditional denture, right? Or provide a smile and a substitute that didn't come in and out supported by dental implants. Okay. She chose the latter. And as you can see in that photo, <laughs> she can't stop smiling. Even though it's not it's not larger, she's guarding it a little bit because she's what do you not mean guarding she's it? not used to it. She hasn't smiled in years. I mean, picture this one. So it's woman. not a full smile yet. It's not a full smile. Not a full smile, but you know, it it will be. It's only a matter of time. But we couldn't even get her to do that prior to her walking into the office. So we we've 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 broken down boundaries. We've already we, we've already put her into the win column because she's a different person now. Okay, so, so when they go to affordable dentures and dental implant centers, they're offered these new digitally printed dentures, these affordable dentures, and they're offered four or five different tiers. Then, the, then for a little bit more money, they can get a set of teeth that are locked in to snap in, snap out, and then the last option is upper and lower brand new teeth that don't come in and out. That's right. Is that pretty much what everybody gets That's right. offered to them? That's right. So the company itself was founded in 1975. And I'll just give you a real, real quick okay. history here. Okay. It was founded on the basis of blue collar, salt of the earth people that were real life. And it was actually founded in Kinston, North Carolina, small town right next to I-95, where truckers would, would drive in, get their teeth taken out, get their dentures and keep driving. Really? So okay. they've, they've, they've been able to, to multiply this philosophy in terms of providing a very quick, efficient, cost-effective, quality service in a very short amount of time, but for everyone. So now it's not just the truckers that are stopping at our offices. These are people like you and me. These are people that work nine to five. These are people that we rub shoulders with every day. So it's really important to understand that, you know, Affordable Dentures is, is a place where Anyone can and should be treated, but more so they're treated 
with respect, with compassion, and with, with, with high quality, high grade material and, and, and technique. Here's another example of a patient whose uh, husband recently passed away. She came in, she wasn't able to eat, she wasn't able to smile. She, uh, she felt like she wasn't herself and we were able to take out her remaining teeth as well. They were uh, wiggling around, they were cracked, they were broken, there was decay in them that was just way too deep. And she left here with a smile, that's the after. She said she, she hadn't smiled since before her husband passed away. And to be able to hear someone say that to you is just, it, it's, it's, it's humbling and it's gratifying and it's just, it's an honor to be able to do that for someone. So these are a snap in, snap out set of teeth, upper and lower? They are, they okay. are. So those are not the ones that, that are, are permanently supported or whatnot. Those are traditional dentures, but they're supplemented with dental implants so that they don't move around and rock back and forth. Okay. Lastly, so we've got Bill. Bill had teeth that were, were not pleasing to the eye and he had just been to the point where enough was enough. He, he wanted a smile that he could be proud of. He wanted a smile that he could take pictures with. So what we were able to do for him is we gave him new teeth and he became a new man. Look at this guy, he's, okay. he's handsome. <laughs> he's handsome, he's a good looking guy. And now he's going out and he's enjoying life again. Which about is about half the cost half of these the cost. other guys. More than half the cost. And, and between you and I, I encourage people to shop around. And that's what we say in our consultation. There's, there's, is zero, that right? there's zero pressure. It's we're only ready when they're ready. So do your homework, do the due diligence. It's important, it's a big decision. So when people are encouraged by us to, to shop around, I don't think there's anyone else that's gonna give them the service that we provide at the cost that we provide it for with the commitment that we have. I just don't. We're out of time. Final message though, to the people that are wearing an old fashioned denture, or they still have teeth, but those teeth are gonna have to be removed and headed to a denture and they want dental implants to give them a brand new set of teeth that don't come in and out. But they've heard what you had to say, but they're still skeptical. What do you say to those people? I say, come on in. Okay. Give us a try. The initial consultation, it's complimentary. The 3D CBCT scan that we take to evaluate the bone volume and density, it's complimentary. We waive those fees. We welcome you just to chat because you may be one of these people and you may be sitting on the couch right now saying, you know what, it's time. Or you may be one of those people where you didn't know what your options were and you didn't know it was time. But either way, we're here to help and we just, we wanna make their lives better. Good for you. What do they like the most? Do they like the way it looks or do they like what they could eat and chew? It, it's, With it's, the new teeth. It's both, right? So like I said, some people come in for different reasons, but when they're able to eat and chew and smile and it doesn't hurt, it's the trifecta. It's, 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 the standard way of how they should live their life. Everyone deserves to be happy. At the end of the day, everyone deserves to be happy. Okay, good. I want to thank you for coming on the, on the show. Good stuff. Right. Thank you so much for having me. You've been watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.